It fell to the floor. I think it's dead. Let's start the story at the beginning. Hi everyone, this is Liz. I'm renovating this 18th century timber frame cottage. Last time you joined me at the cottage, I had just ripped out the ceiling on the second floor and was mowing my lawn with a scythe. We are starting this renovation week in the bathroom. I can't believe it looked like this before. Even the bathroom floor has visible timber beams now. I first have to clean out the last bit of plaster so we can start working on the wall and the floor. I talked to the local plumbing and heating company about the bathroom this week. At the moment it's difficult to find people for plumbing jobs as everyone is fully booked. But they offered to provide us with equipment and expertise so we can do most of the work ourselves. Which is actually a perfect solution. Being able to just make deals like this is a huge benefit of living in the countryside where the plumbing company's office manager is a classmate's sister and one of the technicians is my hairdresser's husband. Tell me you live in the countryside without telling me you live in the countryside. The timber beams have quite a bit of water damage. There is already a steel beam underneath here and we'll be adding another one for extra stability. Then the floor heating, screed, tiles, etc. will be added on top. I mean, who wouldn't want timber beams on their bathroom floor? It occurred to me that it could be a good idea to empty the mailbox at some point. I don't live in the cottage yet, so I don't receive any mail here, but yeah, so much unnecessary waste. I also have to take care of the garden a bit. Let's mow the rest of the grass, weed the garden a bit and water the plants. Unfortunately, while I was watering the garden, I made a very sad discovery. A beautiful woodpecker lay dead in the flower bed. I don't know how he died, but I decided to give him a proper funeral. Especially when living close to nature, we sometimes just have to accept that death is a part of life as well. There's still a lot of cleaning up to do of all the materials we ripped out on the top floor. Last week the local chimney sweep also came by and gave me some advice on shutting down the old stove and installing the new fireplace. He didn't even know who bought this cottage and yet somehow managed to find out and track me down to make an appointment. Countryside. Apart from the plumbing company and the chimney sweep, I also had an expert for restoring historic wooden floors and stairs come over to take a look. We will be sanding the stairs in order to remove this ugly old paint and make the natural wood reappear. The wood expert I talked to said we could use his equipment as well as his expertise. So we can do as much as we like ourselves and if there's anything we need help with, we can ask him. So I think that's a really good solution. So what we're gonna do is 
we're gonna leave this part of the railing white um, as well as this part of the stairs down here and then here the part where you actually step on and this part where the hand goes will be natural wood so i hope that this is gonna look cool and it's also gonna make our lives a bit easier when sanding this whole staircase a wood expert also gave us some advice on the historic floors he recommended inserting small slices of wood into the gaps um, but this is going to be a lot of work and we'll have to see if we can do this ourselves or if we're going to need the expert's help and of course what this is going to cost or if there is maybe a different solution that looks good as well. What we can do for sure though is preparing the floor. This includes cleaning out the gaps as well as removing the last bits of the floor covering and the nails that are still in the floorboards. One wall in the bathroom is a bit unstable and we have to stabilize it before we put anything on it. So we are adding this grid. We are securing it with screws. We are then adding mortar to keep the grid in place and stabilize the whole wall. I was happily filming the progress with this wall when suddenly it fell to the floor. I think it's dead. This doesn't look healthy at all. So my camera fell onto one of the timber beams. This just happened. I'm filming this on my phone now. I ordered the exact same camera again. It's already on its way to me because I have to film, right? I hope I can get the other camera repaired. This would mean I would have two cameras so I could film from different angles, which would be cool. So yeah, I guess you always have to see the positive, right? You're just going to assume the identity of your predecessor and we're going to pretend nothing happened, okay? Cool. The camera is not the only thing that's new. I ordered sample tiles for the bathroom, which I would like to unbox with you now. I'm really excited about them. I made my decision really quickly because I saw those tiles and wanted them. But this is the first time I actually see them in real life, so I might not actually like them. Let's see. So this is the tile I ordered. It's beige travertine that has this vintagey historic look to it.
I wanted it to look a bit like the sandstone on the outside of my house. I ordered a medium tone with a structured look and they sent me the smooth version as well, which is a very smart move of them. I do think they are both the same tile, except this one is the more vintage used look. Like, can you see that here? And this one is the smoother version. I do like the used look though. That's the one I ordered. I don't know, I just think it really fits this old house. Okay, so can we envision this tile in the bathroom? I find it so difficult to decide based on this 20 square centimeter tile whether I'm gonna like that in the entire bathroom. The plan is to have this tile on the floor and the bottom part of the wall. And then the top part of the wall is gonna be white and the tiles are not going to be like they're going to be from the floor up but not in a straight line but like higher in the shower and lower above the bathtub and the sink so it's a bit more fun and less straight lines i hope you can imagine or envision what i'm talking about i might not be very good at describing it Hmm, yeah, I, I think I like it. I can see that in here. But now back to the important tasks of today. And then there's something else. In order to do the necessary plastering work in the bathroom, I already had to kind of pick out some of the fixtures so we know where the drains and the pipes have to go. I stumbled upon this beautiful set of rose gold faucets for sink, shower and bathtub and was wondering if they might be a good match for my bathroom. As I don't have any of the faucets yet, I brought these rose gold colored earrings to get an idea whether the colors go well together. I'm not too sure this might work or I might have to switch to a gold or brass color instead of rose gold. Please let me know in the comments if you think they would be a good match. <laughs> 